So we're going to be talking about virtual methods, upcasting, downcasting, and how they're used in UVM. Uh, my name's Cliff Cummings. Uh, just my own background, uh, my experiences, I've been Verilog, System Verilog, UVM synthesis trainer. As a matter of fact, I've done it quite a few years. I've been on the Acceler and IEEE System Verilog committees up until the, the most recent one. I was part of all the Verilog standards groups and the Verilog synthesis standards group. I've authored quite a few papers. If you have not been to my webpage, you should go. There, you'll find all types of papers out there. You can download whatever you want. There's no registration. And we've, we've been doing training for Verilog 26 years, Synthesis 24 years, System Verilog 15 years, uh, UVM for a number of years. And we like to make sure that our, our students are entertained. If they can't learn anything, they should at least be entertained in a training class. I have a master's from Oregon State, a bachelor's from BYU. So that's me. Uh, we do do training uh, worldwide. So there is a paper that you'll find on my webpage. It just went out there in the, the past week, and it has all this information plus much more. Of course, Verification Academy is going to post this, so you'll be able to watch it over and over again. You say to yourself, how do I get to sleep at night? You just turn on Cliff on Verification Academy. You'll be there. And so what we're going to talk about, I'm going to give you just one quick review slide about classes and virtual classes. Then we'll talk about methods and virtual methods and extended and derivative classes. We're going to spend the bulk of our time talking about upcasting, downcasting, and how you see these used frequently inside of UVM. We'll also give you a few slides about pure virtual methods and where they are also used inside of UVM test benches, and then just a quick summary and conclusion slide. And so there's much more detail that you can find inside of the paper.